Dear children, today we are going to see the summary of the making of a scientist written by Robert W. Peterson. Richard H. Ebright, at the age of 22, stunned the scientific community with his innovative theory on how cells. This article was published in the Proceeding of the National Academy of Science. For Richard, the success started with butterflies. Richard Ebright grew up in Reading, Pennsylvania. As an only child, Everett collected things like rocks, fossils and butterflies to amuse himself. By second grade, Everett had collected all 25 species of butterflies found in Reading. Everett's interest in butterflies might have warned after the eighth grade had it not been for the book The Travel of Monarch X. The book charted the migration of monarch butterflies from United States to Central America. At the end of the book, readers were invited to study butterflies and tag them for research. Inspired by the book, Everett decided to tag his own butterflies. However, the butterfly season in the Reading was only six weeks which made it difficult for Everett to tag many butterflies. So, he decided to breed monarch butterflies in his basement. Then, in 7th grade, after losing in the country science fair, Ebride learned that real science was about experiments rather than displays. His competitive spirit was kindled and he wrote to the author of The Travel of Monarch X, Dr. Urhat for ideas. In 8th grade, Everett tried to show that a species of beetle was responsible for a viral disease afflicting the monarch caterpillars. Though his project didn't yield tangible results, Everett did win an award for effort. In 9th grade, he tested the theory of how Weinstein butterflies copy monarch butterflies for their survival. This time he achieved success in country science fair. In high school, he thought of a simple question that would have life-changing implications to his career. Richard and a fellow science student worked on a device which would provide the answer to these questions. This project gave him a chance to work at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. It also got him an entry into the International Science and Engineering Fair. He continued working on this project which won him the first prize at the International Fair and gave him a chance to work for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. As a next step in this project, Ebright grew cells from monarch wings to expand on this theory. Next summer, after completing his first year of Howard University, Richard went back to the Department of Agriculture. He succeeded in identifying the hormone's chemical structure. Following this, he discovered how cells could read the DNA. Peterson states that if Richard managed to prove this theory, it will be revolutionize the understanding of life and life processes. While working on expanding this theory with his colleague James R. Wong, Ebright also graduated from Harvard University. Ebright, Peterson writes, not only is a gifted scholar, but also a debate champion and all-around sports person and an expert photographer. While commentative, Richard also believed in giving the best effort that he could. His scientific curiosity, coupled with an intelligent mind and will to win, has given Richard every opportunity to become a brilliant scientist. And Peterson believes this combination makes for an extraordinary scientist.